Hey guys, I'm by Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 15.4 Developer Beta 1 has been out for about a week after the filming of this video. Now, if you may remember, I shared with you guys my first thoughts and first look at the software. Then I shared with you guys another video with more new features and changes. This time, I'm going to share with you guys even more new features and changes in iOS 15.4 Developer Beta 1. And now there's just so many changes within the software that I thought I'd rather dig around, take my time, and then share with you guys a lot of this new stuff happening within the latest update and now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode so now it's quite interesting because the previous update 15.3 didn't really contain too many changes but this one here is definitely the software to update to ones that is available to the general public now let me share with you guys additional new changes here if you want to watch my entire coverage links will be in the description down below for all the features within the software including this video here the first thing i want to talk about is apple music now within apple music on the icon if you long press you now have a play most recent so if you're in apple music you were listening to an album for example you long press you can resume that directly within the shortcuts here by long pressing on the apple music icon so if it's a song or an album particular artist you can now head directly right back to that particular section by long pressing on the icon now the next thing i want to talk about is app store notifications now this is definitely new and this could be hinting at apple updating their apps without having to update the software and let me explain myself here let's head on over into the app store here and if we go into our avatar in the top right corner here and then we click on notifications here we now have two tabs here so we have notifications for new features and updates and then we have recommendations and offers now new features and updates to me sounds like you'll be prompted that there's a new update for a particular application or a new update or a new feature for a particular application. Now, as you know or may or may not know, you can actually download certain Apple apps directly from the App Store, like Safari can be downloaded, Apple Music. So these apps are definitely in here in the App Store. Now, if there's a new feature or a new update that needs to be added to Apple Music, maybe Apple will be sending those updates directly through the App Store without having to update the entire software, right? So you don't have to install a new version of iOS in order to get new updates for maybe Apple Music, for Safari, maybe patching any bugs, or the emails application, the emails application. This would be very, very cool. Now, I'm not saying that this is necessarily that option, but a sure hints at that because we have new features and updates tab, which you, by the way, is enabled by default, and then you have recommendations and offers, and these will be notifications within the App Store. Now, the next thing I want to talk about in this one is for iCloud Plus subscribers here, we now have a new custom email domain and you can find that if we head on over into settings and we go into our iCloud settings here and then we head on over into iCloud and we tap into the uh, emails tab right here so iCloud email you now have the ability to create a custom domain right there that you can use in order to go ahead and send some emails out without having to share your primary email so custom domains is a new option within iOS 15.4 developer beta 1 for iCloud plus subscribers if you are subscribed to that particular particular service. Now Apple has also added additional changes to iCloud settings as well. If we go back here and we go to our main iCloud settings, if you tap into passwords and security, you now have a new option here to not access your iCloud data on the web. So if you go to iCloud.com, right, you have access to all your photos, your notes, reminders, files, documents, and all that good stuff through iCloud.com. Well, now there's a new toggle here, as I mentioned, under security and passwords that allows you to disable this. So not even yourself can view this information directly on iCloud.com. So anything from notes, photos, all that good stuff, reminders will not be accessible through iCloud.com. Again, that's going to be under security for iCloud services and you can now do that directly within your iPhone if you don't want to view all that data on iCloud.com and then this switch needs to be turned off and last but not least I want to talk about a new UI here for face ID so you can see right there face ID for wallet and you have a little face ID icon up at the top here if I lock my device and I double press on the side you'll see here that we'll get a new UI let me go and lock the device not the cover sheet but locking it I would double press here and it prepares your device right there for face ID opening wallet it's just a new UI that you can enable by double pressing on the side button let's go ahead and press it again one two there it is we get the new UI says face ID for wallet 
boom, we unlock, and now we're ready to make a payment. So iOS 15.4, developer beta one, definitely the software that will continue to be showing us that this is the one to update to. This one has the most updates, and as I mentioned, I did my initial coverage, I did my follow-up with more new features, and this one is the third video, more new features and changes within the software. Everything will be linked down below. Let me know what you think about this software. Are you looking forward to updating to this one? Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.